Oh, g'day everyone. Welcome to Xris Art. I'm Chrissy. Thanks for joining me. And I uh, wanted to say thank you to um, uh, Janice Leblanc is uh, moderating the stream. Uh, maybe Wendy might pop in and say good day, but uh, let's see how we go. And I just wanted to welcome you all um, for today's stream. Now, the project I've got a few things lined up. First of all, I've made some pros. Um, uh, sorry, I've made some purchases, uh, which I'll show you later. And I'm going to show you how to make a little eighth of an inch. Well, I'm going to show you how I hack up a brush. So I thought that um, I will show you that. I've got a few brushes. And the the artwork that I have today, it's 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 a mashup. Okay, so the mashup is a Grasshopper Orchid. And of course, as you know, I or I put I put my females in because I really like that. And I just put the characteristics of uh, the two, you know, the two subjects. And uh, what I've got here is, and I've already started, I've actually done the background. Oh, g'day, Helen. Hello. Nice to see you here. G'day, Joanna. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so the... Um, the, the Well, the grasshopper bit, she's going to be green ish of course Steve hello welcome hello how you going how you going um, okay so and I've got the antenna of the grasshopper and the orchid I've got orchid flowers instead of eyebrows she's got uh, uh, orchid for uh, eyebrows so the orchids around here and you know Let's just see how we go, okay? And of course, the um, the the uh, the art supplies that I'm using is uh, pan pastels. The the surface that I'm using is pastel mat. And as you can see, I've already made a start because uh, it does get a bit messy. And of course, I put uh, masking film to um, to protect my areas. Uh, need to watch the the press conference for the new COVID rules back in a flash. Okay, no worries. <laughs> oh, oh, um, Cherry, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, now, um, of course, I'm going to get into this. I just need to tell you the purchases that I've made, and we'll talk about this later, is the metallic paint set. I've discovered this, okay? So this is really, really new. I've never seen anything like this, so I'll do. I'll show you about that. And then I'll show you about gouache. Now, this is the uh, by Schmincke, the Academy gouache. Um, there is the horror dam, and of course this is the student but you know it's still very good quality but we'll talk about that a little later well I better get stuck into this shouldn't I okay now um, I do have my my glassine paper and I've also got my uh, watercolor um, paper palette which I've got here and I'll just get stuck into it and mix some colors now I've already started with the Heidi, hello, welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I've um, started with the eye because when I'm doing this, she looks um, she looks a bit. Um, well, I find it hard to do the portrait when I haven't when I haven't done the eyes. She looks a bit freaky to me. So I've just basically just it's more or less of an outline, if anything. Um, yeah. So for people who are just discovering. Uh, what I'm doing that's the reason why so I'm actually going to make um, some colors and I'll probably talk about how I thought about and my process in how I came to design this um, one of our good friends Vicky uh, Vicky uh, was uh, asking me about my process and how I came about this composition and it's, you know, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to talk about in text, you know, to, but I thought, oh, well, look, I'll, um, I'll, I'll give it my best shot in text, but I think it's better if I talk to you about it in, um, verbally, verbally. So hang on, I'll just get my reference. I, um, 
Oh, g'day, Kathy. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you here. I'm um, just getting my... Um... Okay. I'm just getting my... All right. Um, all right. Steve says, Chrissy, next time you and Wendy do a mashup, I thought a pretty weird but cool one would be a lion's body and a gorilla's head. Hmm. Very interesting. Of course, this is doable. Of course it is. Everything, nothing, nothing is impossible. Um, all right. So I'm going to make some colors. Now the, the background that I... Um, that I did I used violet I used violet I used magenta I used a bit of black and I also used uh, raw umber extra dark with and and I lightened it a little bit with the violet tint so you know in certain areas but I just kept on I just kept on uh, applying and brushing um, until I got the desired effect and I used this brush to do the background now this is probably about the messiest part I don't recommend I think that you should have you should be in, in a ventilated area if you're using something like this that's the only thing I probably but as you can see the the result that I get you probably won't I can't in real life if you could see it, it's just a beautiful transition so but it, it is the messiest of all so that I, I need to warn you and that's a bit of a disclaimer Kath, um, postponed an hour okay cool all right so I'll just put this away and uh, for for those okay now before I go any more further I just wanted to show you this is an eighth of an inch art basics brush and I went shopping today and what I wanted to do is to show you I'm gonna hack up a brush okay and I did this earlier this afternoon now this is a different different brush I went to one of my local um, art shops now this one says eighth of an inch neef right and what I did was this is what it used to look like oh Oh, Renata, hello. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're well, my dear. Okay, just so you can see. All right. So when I purchased, when I purchased this brush, this is what it is, okay? All right. This is what it was. It does say eighth of an inch, neef, but it's a different kind of one to this. So what I'm trying to... The reason why I'm telling you is that if you can't find the brush that I'm always talking about, you can find something similar and chop it. You know, so this is uh, Nolani. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, and so can you see that? So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how I'm going to do this. And I've also bought I bought another brush. And when I go looking for. When I go looking for brushes, it's, I couldn't tell you how it feels, but all I can tell you is when I flick it, uh, when I flick it against my finger, it's sort of, uh, sp not spongy, but it flicks, it's firm, it's firm, but it flicks pretty good I don't know I don't know how else to describe it but what I, I, I just wanted to show you and of course this is a different kind of this is a stiff synthetic brush it's synthetic so and it's a zero this one so but yeah and it's a bright it's a bright one but we're going to chop it to what we like and of course this is quite long I'm actually going to chop that um Oh, hello, Angie. Hello, welcome. Okay, I bit the bullet and trimmed my eighth, <laughs> my eighth brush a bit. That's how you do it. You just do it exactly. And I'm going to show you how to, how I'm going to do it on on stream. But I think I should I should start to do some of this as well. So I'm actually going to mix some colours. Uh, okay, and I'm going to do some skin tones. She's going to be very green at some point now the colors that i'm using is burnt sienna shade there is raw umber shade 
and I'm mixing with another bristle brush right it's giving me uh, it's giving me I I'm, can pick it up and you know I'm all I'm doing is picking up pigment and mixing colors and that's you know that's most of the battle most of the battle it is red on like side yeah shade I was right just checking just make sure that's why I'm just making sure okay so I'm just picking up enough pigment and color so I don't have to keep on mixing so I just want to okay and the shade and of course this is the oh, I don't know what you would call it would it be um, medium it's not light hue it's just a medium hue and of course I've got my my paper towel which I'd like to you know um, clean before I use another color uh, another color that I want to use I want to lighten it and I'm going to use raw umber tint um, I like that cherry can I just ask cherry what made you <laughs> what made you cut your brush this is interesting raw umber tint and I'm just creating some values that's all I'm doing here okay uh, also there's been a few that have asked me um, that have you know are just missing out because of time uh, missing out on the live streams uh, to come in live because you know I tried to get I'm trying uh, it's very hard to get everyone all at the one time and thank goodness we have replay uh, so then you can catch this on replay so but what I will be doing is every now and again I'm actually going to be live streaming um, my mornings which in the northern hemisphere will probably be in the evenings I'll, I'll see if I can catch people that's what I'm trying to do okay so um, um, oh, Ariane, hello, welcome, nice to see you here. Um, okay, I chop, oh, hang on, Helen says, I chopped my brush too, works brilliant. <laughs> hello, baby, this is what I'm talking about. Um, okay, um, it's called, it's called innovation and thinking outside the square, that's what it is. All right, so. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in now and so you can actually get a really good look at what I'm doing. Oop, not the other way. Okay, Cherry says, Chrissy, the bristles were a bit long and kept flicking the pastel around, so not accurate enough. Okay, uh, I think, you know what, One, oh, it's much better. Okay. What happens is that you, you will get the feel like you will, you know, you will, uh, once you start doing, using the bristle brushes, you will get the feel of what the bristle should look, what should look like or should feel like. And yeah, um, Lisa, hello, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here. All right. So I'm going to start, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, this area is going to be um, flesh colored but then she's going to be a little bit green here she's going to morph into grasshopper mode and let's just see how we go and of course these are the orchids um, oh Okay, Shandri, hi all, oh, just a really quick hello, and then I'm going to sleep again. Oh my, oh, okay, thank you so much for popping in and saying hello. Oh, such a sweet lady. Uh, but which company produces the best pastel products? Hmm, I tell you what, I have my favorites, and everyone, uh, that's a very good question, Ariane. Uh, you know, hang on a sec, let me just, let me just do this. Uh, it's a very good question and the reason why I say that is because everyone has preferences. Uh, I have preferences as far as what pastel uh, companies I like 
I, I enjoy using. It's not so much I like, I enjoy. There's quite a few I like. I, I enjoy using uh, Schmincke. I enjoy using Sennelier pastels. I enjoy using Blue Earth pastels. I enjoy using Pan pastels. I... Um, these are all high quality uh, manufacturers or high, you know, they're all very good quality pastel um, uh, pastels. So it all depends what your budget is. It all depends. Uh, some are harder than others. Uh, Sennelier, I know that they're... Um, the soft pastel sticks are buttery and smooth. Uh, there's also uh, Unison, beautiful pastels. Uh, there's also Art Spectrum pastels, uh, which I like. I've actually tried and enjoy using. Um, it all depends on your budget. But that's a very good question. I could talk about that for a day and a half, truly. Um, but which company produces the best pastel products you know hard to tell maybe people in the chat might have their favorites uh, I tell you the best ones I like as I said Schmincke, Sennelier, Unison, uh, Rembrandt are very, also very very good Yeah, they're soft pastels, uh, those ones. Um, okay, Shandra says, uh, hi, uh, just a really quick, oh, I know we've already gone through there. Um, okay, all right, so. Uh, Anne, hello, hello, how you going? Guess what I'm doing? I'm doing a March mashup. Grasshop, grass, sorry, grasshopper uh, orchid. Um, so there you go. So for everyone, uh, this is more or less of a, a March mashup. And it, this is, uh, sorry, that's what, and that's what all I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about this as well. Um, the grasshopper orchid comes from the 2020 March mashup list. And of course, I've actually got that in the dis um, the link in the description box below so if people are wanting to uh, you know have a look at the list and if you if you want to be inspired um, definitely go click click on that and of course it you know there's a you know there's a there's a list of 31 okay you don't have to do all 31 every day uh, you can do them all through the year or two years time I don't know it's whenever you feel in and this is more for inspiration than anything else um, yes so and of course I do um, I I include a female in mine you know I mean there's no wrong or right way to do anything I just um, I feel that um, I, I just love doing portraits and I love the the the, the mishmash of of them. So yes, I'm actually quite uh, quite interested in that kind of art, uh, especially fantasy art. And of course, this is what I would call this fantasy art. Um, okay. And for those who are wondering, uh, this is um, Anais, uh, Anais' little baby, where she decides what, uh, you know, um, decides on all of the, you know, the mashups and stuff like that, which is um, really cool. Uh, Kathy says, Chrissy, someone today put up on FB a good list from Jackson's of pastel type examples, soft hard pastels pans and pastel pencils good info oh fair. oh well, look you know what if you can share that that would be great on share your art with xris art uh, that would be great if you could do that we would all, we would all love to hear about that 
So yes, most definite. If you can, if you can, that is. Um, if it's shareable, if it's shareable, yeah. So uh, I was asked how composition-wise, I was asked, um, I was asked comp composition-wise, how do I think, how do I, how do I think, or put this together, like? You know the idea and stuff like that uh look ah uh, abigail hello nice to see you here hello there um hope all is well with you uh the answer is i i don't have an answer how the idea comes to me but what i what i tend to think about is i because i like the idea of the female because that's how i mainly do them um, I think of the grass in this case I thought of the grasshopper and what are the main what are the main you know um, characteristics of this subject and then I thought well what's the main characteristics of the orchid of course it's the flower and uh, with the grasshopper of course uh, the grasshopper has the antennas it's green um, I wanted to make her um, quite delicate and I with the grasshopper it's got this you know this flat this flat face well I didn't want this flat face business so um, I wanted uh, her to look a little bit elegant uh, so you know and I thought to myself well and then of course you know uh what happens and, and i can't this is the bit where i can't explain is where things start to form in my mind and i start to see images in my mind and then i think oh okay well now this is what i want it to look like and then i go start looking for the references and and then i start to put it together like a jigsaw puzzle so um not, not that there's any um mystery or anything like that but it's just all in my imagination, pretty much, yeah. Um, but um, one person who has fantastic imagination is Anne, um, who mishmashes the animals together, and this is, and of course we've got on the Instagram page, uh, we have quite a few. There's an inst, sorry, Instagram. Um, on Instagram the mashups uh, you will find there's a whole heap of them and where people have an artist have um, uh, have posted their you know their you know their versions of all of of all of the mashups and so which is really really cool to see I love to see how everyone uh, puts together and what their ideas are so which is really cool but this is how I do it um, yeah I love this mashup. Uh, she will be gorgeous. Oh, I hope so, Anne. I hope so. You know, I always say, geez, I hope I pull it off. You know, I always say that. Um, I hope so. Um, okay, so I'm going to start on her nose. So I'm actually going to use uh, my small brush and I'll start to be extremely delicate with it. Now, this is an eight. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I hacked up a brush earlier today and I'm going to try it and I'll show you how I hacked it up but just let me see how this works this will be interesting uh, okay uh, oh you are too kind I love your lady mashups um, <laughs> that you come oh well you know we're all different hey isn't that we're all different we all do different things we all you know the world would be a very boring place if we all did it if we all did the same things but yes definitely you should go have a look at um, Instagram March mashup the link is in the description and have it you should go and have a look at Anne's um, beautiful work yeah oh and you always pull it off every time okay all right well you know you just don't know hey you just don't know all right and of course, you know, there is the huge ugly stage. There's a, a massive ugly stage. Uh, 
Yeah. So, and you know what? It's working really, really well. So, um, here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, Juanita, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I have missed you too. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. And, um, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, Angie. Yes, my, my gargoyle. Yes, my, my snail. You know, some people go, Chrissy, what the heck was going on with your head when you were thinking about that? Well, you know what? I have no idea what was going on in my head. No idea. Okay, this is working really well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, so, here we go. All right, so, and this is the one, this is the brush. And you're not going to believe what I did. I'm actually going to put, I, I want to protect my area. And you know how I cut it? This is just like the weirdest thing. I've actually got some nail cutters. And the reason why I've got nail cutters is because it's going to, I'm going to cut it in one foul swoop and this is all a bit weird so Miguel oh my goodness what's happening mum what's happening I'm painting that's what I'm that's what's happening <laughs> nice to see you here sweetheart uh, okay so nail clippers everyone I don't think you've seen me use nail clippers on this one all right so I'm gonna try to match that so let's do that. Okay. Arnie, hello. How are you going? Okay, look at this. Okay. We're close. We're getting close. Actually, I think that's about right. I'm not going to fuss too much with that. Look at this. Alright, I think I cut too much off that one but look at that so the whole point and this is what it looked like before because I bought about three three of these brushes so this is what it looked before this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now and that's for detailed brushes with pans so all I'm trying to say is that if you can't find the brush and that says Neef 9995 Taclon Angle Shader, eighth of an inch. I, and the reason why I say eighth of an inch is because this is the bit that we're concerned with, right? So there you go. I've also I've also got this long one here. Um, okay, what a smart what a smart idea using nail clippers to cut you get it yes you get it exactly right i was trying to figure out i mean i've got scissors next to me here and all of that but i thought let me see how i go with the nail clippers now this is a zero neaf bright okay now remember this one was angle okay this was angle and when i say angle I mean this is what it's like and of course I trimmed it down to what I want but I'm also going to as you can see it is just slightly bit bigger and it's for areas that are maybe not as detailed as you know as that one but we're going to give it a go hey let's just see how we go I haven't this is interesting and of course I'm going to chop this down I'm going to chop it down to you know there about there so i'm just going to do that um all right so here we go oh god this is all a bit too scary sometimes okay i'm just going to go bit by bit with this one and the bristles is a little bit firmer although it's synthetic it's a little bit firmer than this one here all right so let's just see how i go i don't know how it'll go but let's just see okay Okay, all right, we're going good here. Okay. 
you know what, I'm not going to fuss too much with this, but I think I've got it to where I want it to be. And yeah, I'm just flicking this. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm... Hang on a sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Something's come up on my screen. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So, and I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to see what it's like. Now, the, the bristles are firmer than this one. Yeah. They're firmer than that. I'm going to try both. Well, I have been trying this one. You know, I could probably cut a little bit more off here. But, um, yes. So, the whole point of the exercise, what I'm trying to get through to you is that, you know, if you can't find the brush that you're looking for, bloody hell, just chop it. Chop it. That's all you got to do. So, there's that. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay. Um, and I know sometimes it's a little bit difficult. You're thinking, oh, you know, should I, you know, should, you know, sometimes it, it might be an expensive brush, but this wasn't too expensive. I think this was, um, you know, you know, just average price. I don't know, 10, 15. I don't know, ten ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I use scissors. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So yes, Abigail. Yes, I understand. This is shocking, but you know what? Whatever works. Whatever works. Yes. Um, Angie's saying brilliant. Yeah, I use scissors, but the clippers are brilliant. Yeah, I think that you should. Well, you see, I used scissors before, but I thought to myself, I just want like a firm crisp cut <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it but anyway I don't know how else to explain it but yeah all right so all right. okay so I'm going to okay I'm going to go in with the nose hang on I just I lost um okay Lisa ha bloody hell just chop it you're right um uh, Steve says wow that is really innovating brilliance by the queen of oh there you go aren't you sweet I use scissors too now I'll have to now I'll have to try it um yes okay all right so there you go uh hang on I lost my um oh where's my I lost my um I just need to get my um that's oh, my reference so hang on a sec I've just got it now again sorry here we go okay all right so I'm going to be working on the nose so um, uh, and so this brush, which I've chopped, which you can see, um, learn something new every stream. There you go. Well, you know, this is what, you know, sometimes you learn something, sometimes you think, well, I knew all about that. But you know what? We're just hanging out. So that's the, that's what we're doing as well. So, all right. Now the nose here, the this area here is a bit too saturated and I'm desaturating with raw umber extra dark and there is this dark bit here, there's this value, this dark value and of course I'm going to put lots and lots of layers. You will see me do lots and lots of layers. And of course for those on Patreon, um, which I thought I might add, um, we're doing the nose next. We've been... Um, We've been pra practicing the five senses, and so I thought I'd just do it. A shameless plug, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Uh, trim your toenails, then your brush. What next? <laughs> oh, Kathy, you make me laugh all the time. 
seriously, you're such a funny lady. Um, actually, a lot of you are funny, actually. You know, you're all more quick-witted than what I am, that's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, so. Um, hang on, I just have to put these to this side. Ooh, hang on a sec. Oh, hang on a sec. I'm just I'm just going to get a vacuum cleaner and vacuum this up for a moment. Just one moment. I don't know what happened there, but there we go. All right. Okay. Hang on. Oh, it made all sorts of mess here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yes, so, uh, sorry, I, I was distracted uh, by my mess. Uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah, a shameless plug. Um, for those who are wanting to do fantasy portraits, we're going to be doing fantasy portraits, a fantasy portrait soon, and we've been doing um, the five senses, the study. Uh, so hopefully um, we all got an idea of how an eye go, how an eye looks, how an ear looks, how a mouth looks, and soon we'll be doing we'll we'll be doing the nose and then touch, which is believe it or not hands. I'm going to be doing hands for touch, so get ready for that. So for people that are interested, um, that's what's going to be happening. Okay, I just joined your Patreon. Oh, can't wait to work on the facial features. Oh, well, thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, welcome, welcome to Patreon with, with Xresart. Well, that's what we're going to be doing. Wonderful. Yes, uh, well, yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's a whole heap. Um, slowly building this up, and you'll see there, there there's uh, a lot of uh, pan pastel tutorials coming up, and of course... Uh, you'll see real-time, step-by-step, uh, some of the art projects that you see uh, me do. Uh, there's also, I'll be, um, I'll be working with gouache soon and coloured pencil and oils. And speaking of gouache, and I'll talk about gouache um, soon, um, I've purchased a whole heap of gouache, which I'm actually going to show you. So if you're into gouache, um, I will be tackling that as well I find that um, I can control that a little bit more I think than um, but then watercolor watercolor's got a mind of its own and of course you know I love that medium so much but you know but I'll get better at it I'm sure I'm sure but yes now gouache is okay with me so gouache oils colored pencil and pan pastels and soft pastels so that's what uh, that's what's going on on Patreon. So if you like to see what's going on there, go over there. And I've got the link in the description box below. But apart from that, I'll get back into this. Um, okay. Uh, what's this? Alcohol to clean um, what, the, nail, the clippers? Or to drink oh okay I don't understand that one um, I have electric nail filers might be good on the pastel pencils too you never know uh, oh yes I oh yes are you talking you're talking about the yes I think I know which one you're talking about it's it's got like sanded paper and it's like oh it's far away from me now but I know the one that you're talking about and Avagal says yes I love gouache are you oh yes um, so okay now of course this is the ugly stage and I'm going to be you know going backwards and forwards for a moment um, but I've made my colors here so I know um, how far I mean, I've made my color, my palette here, so I've got my values, I've got my lights and my darks and in-betweens, and I've got uh, the pans around me to keep on mixing, so that's what I'll be doing. Yes, and blending with the brush. So this works. So can I just say this kind of thing works? So if anyone is trying, and if you can't find an eighth of an inch, cut, cut it, just cut it. Oh, good day. Deb, hello, how are you going? 
Oh, welcome. Okay. All right. A raw umber tint. And the only reason why I'm doing this is I'm just getting in my map. And it's just so I don't lose it. So I don't lose my map. And then I'll just, I'm just going to blend. Now, of course, this looks nothing like what it should look. Brenda, hello, how are you going? Welcome. Um, okay. Yes, so... Yeah, so um, so if you've got an old brush that you don't, um, my computer is finally back up and running after months. Woohoo! Oh my goodness! Oh, what happened to your computer, Deb? Um, Steve says, Chrissy, you know. You know that order of pans I made um, at a great discount from Jerry's. I, I was supposed to be it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and our post office shows a computer shows on computer uh, they have it, but hey, didn't deliver it. Oh yes, you know what? There's nothing worse than making an order and you've paid for it and you're sitting there waiting for it. There is nothing worse. I'm the most impatient person of all. There's no way. I, I don't even know how you're managing to control yourself, Steve. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so this is working. This is pastel matte for those who are just... Uh, tuning in, not sure what surface I'm using um, and what brush I'm using, which is I hacked it up as you can see. Um, yep, and it's working fine. Okay, power supply failure that took out the video card and three out of four stick. Oh, wow! Oh, wouldn't it just drive you nuts? Um, I'll still, okay, still low on RAM, but it's running. Oh my goodness. And especially you, because you're a digital artist as well. So, yeah. Okay, Cherry says, received my order of pans yesterday. Oh, wonderful. So, Cherry, what did you order? What kind of pans have you got? Um, I've been using my grandson's laptop. Oh, okay, cool. I gotcha. Um, all right. Okay. And of course, this is a steady, slow process. You can say that it's just, just a little bit faster than colored pencil if we're talking about... Um, Time-wise... Uh, if you're investing in time but uh, I'm quite cool with this because you know why I'm a tight painter I love loose painting too like I've got to get I've got to tell you this much but this method is is very much tight painting so um, but very satisfying I've got to say and I don't have to wait for it to dry like I do with the wet media as much as I love wet media you know I love wet media too um, but I don't have to wait for it to dry and I can blend very nicely. Yes. Okay, slower than uh, molasses. <laughs> Running uphill in winter. No way, uh, no way, oh, sorry. No way to do digital much of anything on it. Oh, okay, so. Oh, well, that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. Can I just say, oh, okay, Cherry says, I ordered five of the pure colors, beauty, beauty, um, that I didn't have so um, I can add black and white to mix. Hope 
Yes, you can. I'm telling you, you can. Truly, 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 truly. Okay. This is raw umber. Okay. This is raw umber. This is... Oh, no. Sorry. Hang on a sec. This is... Sorry. This is raw umber. This is raw umber shade. This is raw umber extra dark. And this is raw umber tint. Now, this is the pure color. This is when they've added a little bit of black. This is when they've added a lot more black. And on this side of the scale, this is when they've added white to the raw umber tint. So, this is how it would look like that. And definitely have white and black so you can mix. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, I know I've talked about this before, but I just thought I'd talk about it again. I always talk about it, but that's fine. Um, oh, I'm so happy to have my baby running again. Oh, there you go. Helen says, I try to finish my New Year's drawing tonight. I haven't got much time the last few weeks. I know. Look, I've got like about three or four paintings on the go. I've always got things on the go but I'm one of those ones that don't mind and I can actually do that so that's fine um, but I know that there are some people that don't um, you know everyone works differently right so yeah here we go the nostrils might add in raw sea and I just I'll probably need my pastel pencils to go in later. But yes, there you go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be... Um, yeah. yeah, so I'm, yeah, so there's a lot of fantasy stuff coming up soon. So watch out for that. Watch this space. Um, All right, so I've got the nose in. I'm actually quite happy with that. She looks all right that way, actually, doesn't she? Oh, well, well, anyway. Nice and loose. Nice and loose. And of course, there's no wrong or right way to do anything. So long as it's archival, that's the main thing. Okay, raw rumber tint. And the size of this, okay, um, I have to finish my drawing or painting the same day. Otherwise, I lose interest. Oh no, I don't lose interest at all. Um, isn't that strange? Okay, the size of this is 24 centimeters. Oh my gosh, please don't ask me inches, okay? 20, 24 centimeters by 30, by 30. Well, 30 centimeters is probably about close to 12 inches. If we're talking about 24, what's that? What, uh, 24 inches, probably about 12, not quite 12 inches, 11. Probably 11 inches. 11 by 12 inches. Yeah. But anyway, centimeters. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't lose interest at all. Um, in fact, that's... I don't understand how I do this. I, I really don't have an answer for you how I do that. But um, I don't lose interest, which is... Um, which is all right. <laughs> yeah. Um. So here's a question. Um, it, okay, Kathy says uh, it takes me five to seven days to finish pastel, and I always need at least a week break afterwards. You know what? Some, you know what? I tell you what. When you're talking about a week break, sometimes like I get like that too. Like after I've finished like a really big piece, um, I, I do need a break. Uh, but sometimes 
I will paint a small piece to give me a break from the big piece. Um, I don't know. Go figure out how my mind works. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. Uh, but that's that's what I do too. I do that as well. Um, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, for me this is quite fun and therapeutic. I um, really, really love uh, these themes. Here we go. She needs to be darker here. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's just move around here. I'm just going to block areas here. So let me do that with my angular bigger brush um, and I'm just picking up my pigment as I'm doing that I uh, just wanted to okay um, uh, wanted to ask you know has anyone been watching any new shows that you would like to share um, I just finished uh, Bridgerton so that was um, very nice. And I know we talked about that last week, but oh my gosh, I'm almost watching it again. Um, any thoughts on flattening pastel mat board? Okay, I have a few sheets that curl up like crazy. Yes, I, I know, Helen, that happens to me too. Uh, the only way that I can, the only way that I can tell you to help is to frame it <clears throat> sorry to to frame it uh, not necessarily behind glass but uh, definitely behind like on a, a foam core board and then put a, um, a, a nice uh, you can actually purchase frames or you can go to a framer and for me I actually go to a framer and that usually helps but that's me I don't have I don't know why it curls up I, I, I don't get it I don't get it. Um, Deb says, Chrissy, I'm, I'm more like you. I need to walk away for a bit. If a piece is making me crazy, do something different. Gives it time to stew in its juices. Yeah, for a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I have that. Okay, Kathy says, I have that problem with pastel mat pads. Difficult when painting. Yeah. I mean, right now, I've actually taped, uh, I've taped these down with um, a low tack acid-free tape behind and while I'm painting it it keeps things it keeps my pastel mat flat uh, that's the only advice that I can offer while you're painting um, yeah when when you're storing when you're storing it away well that's another story altogether it does you know it does curl and it's not until I frame it that it starts to, you know, to be okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I have no idea. But I'm willing to put up with all of that because the application is cool. Raw rubber tint. So it's a slow process as you can see but I'm loving this it's um, really cool uh, maybe you could contact them uh, the manufacturer about it curling yeah I could I could it be interesting but everyone has talked about that that's really interesting everyone has asked about that situation it does curl up um, Kathy says, um, I've only had that problem with the curling lately, so perhaps weather affects it. Could be, could be moisture in the air, I don't know. Uh, could be. Um... And 
there's just I'm just doing a whole heap of layering here that's all I'm doing I know I talk about it all the time and I often oh Nanette hello where did this idea come from you know what God gave me this idea I have no idea um, okay there is there is a base there is um, this is from my <laughs> Nanette, this is from March Mashup List uh, 2020, uh, and it is Grasshopper Orchid, okay? And of course, as you know, I like, I like my little cheeky babes, right? And I put my, um, you know, my, my spin on, on the female, the females. So um, this is the Grasshopper bit. Uh, she's going to be green, and then, of course, there are orchids just around her here and she's going to be a little bit green you know so that's what's going to happen there i can't tell you yeah and that's where the idea came from um deb says chrissy uh they are all they are the go-to uh to get to the bottom of it everyone is having an issue yeah i understand i know because I, I i get asked this but yeah uh, Chrissy, I'm trying to use up paper uh, I have on hand, but uh, don't particularly like uh, the Buttercup Colour Pastel Matte. Any tips for working on that colour or how that colour paper affects colour uh, you're putting down? Yeah, you know what, the Buttercup, and you won't see me use that very often. It's interesting. Um, so... Oh. I mean, if push came to shove, I would use it. If I ran out of all of the colours that I have, uh, then I would use it. But then I always cover, like you will see this, I will cover all my pastel mat. I will cover it all. Um, and the reason why I use the darker colours is because, you know, helps me with my, with my values. And I, I wonder if, if everyone... I wonder if, or if everyone or all of you um, are in, uh, feel the same way, but I, I can't offer any advice about the buttercup. I mean, I suppose. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I su yeah, I suppose you could maybe put a, a nice, um, a, a very light watercolor wash over it. I think gouache would cover the tooth very quickly. Uh, watercolor maybe not so much um, you could use uh, soft pastels you, no physical uh, sticks make it like a little puddle like this perhaps maybe and um, and use water and use water and mix it and then use a brush and just stain it you could do that that's an idea uh, that's all I can think of at this point yeah um, Ah, it's fair dinkum. There you go. <laughs> That's right. It's fair dinkum. That's it. You know. <laughs> oh, you're making me laugh, Nanette. Seriously, you make me laugh, woman. Um, Kathy says, Chrissy. Oh, oh, damn. We've managed to come up with a negative about the pastel mat. Uh, we'll have to find something else. Not. Uh, yes, okay. Um, uh, Juanita says, um, I love it. Uh, she will be f uh, phenomenal. Oh, okay. Well, let's just let's just hope she will. Hey. Um, okay. Or could you just airbrush it? Ah. You know what? I think it will. Uh, you got to be. When you're using uh, anything like, look, of course you can. Of course you can use airbrush. You know what? I've got something. I'm actually going to test it on pastel matte airbrushing. Because you know what? Um, you know what, uh, Helen? I've got my airbrushing compressor and my airbrush out. And I'm going to be doing a project. I have to do it before the end of January. I have to upload it. So, um Yes, and I'm going to try maybe pastel mat. See how I go with that. But something to watch. Um, 
Okay, Brenda. Okay, Brenda says. Okay, okay. Oh, Helen says um I use the buttercup, uh, but cover it c cover it up completely. There you go. See, there you go. Uh, and then Nanette says she likes the buttercup. Um, see, every artist is different. Every we all have different. Uh, Brenda says um I've been painting a lot lately. Uh, when I don't have a bad headache, oh poor thing, um, uh, they come and go, doctor appointment, oh I'm so sorry, you know what, I'm a migraine sufferer, I understand about headaches, so you know what, sometimes like you just want someone to just chop your head off, don't you, yeah well you know, hopefully you know, just take it easy, that all, that's all I can say, uh, Steve says just a reminder help Chrissy out and hit the oh my gosh aren't you so sweet thank you so much Steve <laughs> you sweetheart Terry hello welcome I don't think I've seen you welcome here um, if it curls a lot I have held a, a sheet right side up over boiling 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 water in a pot for 20 seconds then close it in a big book for a few hours. It usually comes out much more flat. Well, there you go. My goodness, that's a very good tip. Now, can I just ask a question, Terry? So you're saying this is with it, um, with the pastel on it? Is that what you mean? That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay, and it says, uh, this is odd. I've never had a problem with the pastel mat curling. Um, I shouldn't say that. It's probably curling up as I speak. <laughs> well, I mean, it does curl up. I have found that it does. Uh, but I usually frame them. I, and then that, that bit just goes away. Yes. Yes, um, yeah, and it only, I tell you, you know when it curls up, this is when it, when it curls up is when I put the pastel down. You would think that the weight would, you know, you think that the weight uh, would keep it straight. But does it matter if you tape it down? Like I've taped this down, seriously I have. Let me just, um, oh, sorry. See, I've taped this down. I've, I've taped this down. So, yeah. So, you know, just so you know. Um, you know, like this is what I've done. And so it stays like that until I finish. It stays like that until I finish. Um, I wish I could offer any words of wisdom. But um, I really like, I'm really interested, Terry, in your... Um, in your, uh, you know, problem solving. If it curls a lot, I have held a sheet right side up over boiling water in a pot for about 20 seconds. Then close it in a big book for a few hours. It usually comes, comes out. Interesting. That's very interesting. Um... Uh, you have to have, uh, Heidi says, uh, you have to have a mighty big book to flatten the big sheets. Well, there is that. Yes, there is that. Oh, hang on. There is that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, you can do this with pastel on the paper. Okay, cool. Uh, but uh, you have to put a piece of of the cover paper over it before you put in the book. Okay, like glassine, for example. Um, yes, like you mean something like that. You would have to do that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would imagine. Okay, um, Kathy says, um, I have been doing my Patreon tutorials on pastel mat still in the pad and now after a few days it's curling. There you go. Uh, things, should, uh, things should have taken out of the pad and stick it down with tape uh, like I usually do. Yep. Uh, the problem I don't have 
is oh sorry the problem I don't have is the book that's big oh you mean you, you need a book that's big you need a, a big enough book you mean that's probably what you mean Arnie yeah okay um, I find I find mine only curls on this um, on the sort of sides yes uh, and it's only 50 by 70 centimeter ones uh, that do it N no problem with other sizes curling so far uh, no problem with the curled sides once it's framed yes once it's framed no problem I don't have a problem at all once it's framed I can tell and when I say framed even matte framed no problem yeah Okay, I think we're going okay so far with this. But you know what? If if we're just worried about the curling bit, I mean, really? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm in the same boat with you guys as well. So if 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 the paper, if the surface is going to let me paint the way I the way I like to paint, then I'm okay with that because I know what I know that I can just frame it, and I'm not going to worry about the curly bit. Um, yeah. Okay, I think it has to be stored in a cupboard or drawer so humidity or something doesn't get to it. Yes, you it does the same. Yes, I think so too. I actually tend to agree with you there, Kathy. I think it's got something to do with humidity, to be honest, because this room is actually quite humid. Uh, it's, it's actually quite humid, you know, because I close the doors, you know, I, you know when I eventually get down here... Um, you know in the evenings um, so I, I you know it's closed so I think and it's quite yeah quite humid I think that it plays a very big part uh, Terry says um, okay you can put it under books but there has to be an absorbent surface around it to absorb uh, the steam as it dries oh see there you go steam um, maybe there you go that's interesting. Okay. Now I'm not using white just yet. That's going to be or anything the reason why I don't use white and I use raw umber tint is that when I I can use white for a highlight as you can see there is a difference um, there is a difference between the two look it's a very well used raw umber tint isn't it um, there you go okay and it's blotchy as you can see look how blotchy it is but that's okay that's because I don't have enough layers here we go um, okay um, all right cherry says I usually work in my uh, conservatory uh, but as it's winter and very damp I've moved my paper into a cupboard in the lounge in my lounge yeah I know I'm, I'm often thinking too you know sometimes I've got some artwork hanging in my living room and sometimes like it can get a bit damp there so I've got to be very careful um, and of course I live near water as well so there's humidity in the air extra humidity in the air so there's that okay Nanette says um, I store my pastel mat flat in a large portfolio no problem at all I wonder why it's pretty humid where I live okay 
Well, that's very interesting too. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. Just wondering, has anyone? I'm actually going to show you my purchases in a little while, so just uh, wanted to find out: is have has anyone um, been buying stuff that they art supplies that they'd like to share? Um, Cherry says, "Okay." Cherry says, "Chrissy, I find it difficult to tell when there is enough pastel down, but not too much." Yes, I tell you what. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, the other way. Just so you can see, like, real close up. If you can see. Now, can you see, look, if you can see here, you can see the anthracite through here. There is definitely not enough pastel down. Uh, definitely not enough. Um... And what will happen if when you start to put when you've put too much then the pastel starts to move now if you think that you've put too much the old kneadable eraser look how close that is oh my gosh look I'm, my hands are messy and everything but just so you just so you can see there is no two ways about it there's not enough pastel down here so that's the only way that I can describe it is that oh sorry is that it starts to to move when you put too much uh, whenever I get or buy anything that has a small dry desiccant package included I save them all and I have put them in where I store my paper to absorb extra. Oh, I know what you mean. That little, I know what you mean. The, the one that absorbs all the moisture. Is that, is, yes. Okay. Um, okay. I'm always tossing them out. Says, no, no, don't do that. No, no, don't. I, I keep it. I keep them all. I keep them all. Um, Sneak says, Chrissy, I spent a small fortune on a PC to get it up and running. Um, does that count? <laughs> Other than that, I think I could afford a couple of erasers. Yes, well, you know, you just don't know, eh? That's right. <laughs> oh, see, now I've, put too much, I've picked up too much pigment. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Let's just see what I can do with it. Oh, look, I've picked up too much. Yeah, look. And that's what you do. Oh, yeah. Gabriella, hello, welcome. Nice to see you here. I think I'll, I'm okay with that now. There we go. Yeah. Burnt sienna. Okay. All right. Can I show you what I've purchased? Um, something new. Something I've... Um, I've discovered 
I went looking for, uh, you know what, you know what's interesting? I went looking for paper and I came out with other stuff. So how many times does that happen to you, to you all? It happens to me. Um, okay. Can I just show you this? I bought this. Um, it's the Derwent Metallic Paint uh, pan, paint, paint Pants Set. I've never seen this before. So I thought, oh, this is very... And to the point where, look, it's even got the packaging. So, so we're looking at this for the very first time. So I thought I would... I would get... I was... Oh, hang on a sec. Here we go. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at this. They're all metallic. They shimmer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have fun with this. So it's metallic. It's a metallic watercolor paint set by Derwent. Uh, okay, Marcy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, hello. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I recently be uh, became interested in the works of Andrew uh, Wyeth and have been watching videos about temp. Oh, okay, tempera painting. Um, uh, you know who's got tempera paints? Sennelier. I know that they've got them. Uh, just got some tempera paints uh, to tinker around with. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so this is really, really interesting. So, you know, let's just see what happens with that. Yes. I couldn't help myself, could I? And, of course, they come in a lovely little package like this. You know, so, yep, yeah, so there's that. That's something. And uh, I bought, okay, I bought a whole heap of, now this is um, a, um, a, 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 oh, sorry, Academy Gouache by Schmincke. But I bought, I mean, I know this is not, the, the Horror Dame is, you know, has more pigment and stuff like that. But still, um, Acad what is it? Academy, Academy, Academy gouache. And of course, I bought a, a truckload of them because they were on sale. And I've just pulled out a few tubes. So this is what I've got. There's that. And if we're comparing sizes, this is, there's 60 mil. All right. Here we go. 60 mil. As opposed to 20 mil that's the size so I'm going to be doing a lot of gouache painting so okay swatch them can't wait to see how they look on oh yes don't worry I'll be doing that don't worry I'll be doing that um, yeah so there you go so they've been my purchases so you've seen I bought gouache I bought this metallic paint set which I think is really cool and and the brushes which you've seen me hack up see there you go actually let's give this one a go before yeah and of course I'm going to chop it up I'll chop it down to about here but let's see how this works um, okay Academy all right okay Okay, Academy. Oh, hello, Lynn. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Nice to see you here. Okay, so let me try this brush. This is interesting. So we've, so we've tried, we've tried this one. So we know that that works really well. Let's just see how this works. <clears throat> interesting, because this is actually a little bit more harder and a, just a little bit wider. Well, it's zero. It's not eighth of an inch. So let's let's see how that works. Oh, yes, look, it's working fabulous. Oh, my gosh. Okay, totally recommend doing this. Look at it. It's working. It's working beautifully. Oh, wow. You know, you have no idea how excited I get when this happens. Oh, works beautifully. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. How do you say academy? Well, academy. I say academy. But, I mean, it's German. It's German. So how would I say it? Okay, is it Academy? 
how do you say uh, the um, uh, the schooling place um, on the paint tube is just the French spelling with oh okay 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 same pronunciation though okay fine okay well then I don't feel so bad then that's all right that's all right oh Janice says uh keep in mind there are two kinds of gouache there you go thank you so much Janice watercolor and acrylic here's a link oh wonderful thank you so much thank you so much Janice that's wonderful okay yeah because there are different ones aren't there there are there's the designer ones and I don't know what the difference is there's the artist but I'm so glad you put that link in cool cool okay I'm terrified of the oils I bought oh okay you know what just just paint just try them okay with a German <laughs> Chrissy with a German accent oh, I can't do the German accent I can't do the German accent. <laughs> I can do a French accent but I can't do a German accent um, but never mind okay okay folks if you're ever wanting this is how this brush looked and this is what happens when I chop it this is what happens when I chopped it that is so cool I'm so pleased and here we go and there's this one I bought it just like that and then I chopped it and it looked like that so I'm just doing a little overview that you can do things like that like I'm just so excited uh, even in German same pronunciation Academy okay gotcha gotcha loud and clear <laughs> loud and clear oh look I'm so 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 pleased that this is working look at that oh yes so there you go see look there's no wrong or right way to do anything <laughs> this is so cool you have no idea how excited I am as soon as uh, when I find a brush that does what I want it to do get excited okay where is Wendy this morning I'm not quite sure I hope she's fine um, I hope she's good yes well she's incognito she's probably lurking okay she's a lurker you know that don't you she likes to lurk 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 um, <laughs> she might oh there she She's lurking. That's what she's doing. She's lurking. <laughs> oh, same in French. Um, Academy. Okay. All right. Oh, wonderful. All right. Okay. So this is... Um, oh, you have no idea how excited I am. You have no idea. Okay. Um, why did you chop it? Um, is it for precision? You know what I tell you what it's a very good question and the reason why this point you know what I find that the angular brush gives me a nice little point a nice little point when I'm brushing uh, I, I can't explain it any other way but it helps me with more detailed uh, work it, it helps me get into areas where you know if you were comparing you know it would yeah I mean it just helps me get into the nitty-gritty little areas and gives me more control so that's why I do that um Jose is that how you pronounce your name hello Jose any special pan pastel brands okay pan pastel there is only one um, and pan pastel is the manufacturer and they're the company and that is the only that's it uh, as far as um, you know we're all talking about different pastels there are different you know there are different manufacturers that make pastels Sennelier oh my gosh oh, I could go on forever Rembrandt uh, oh my gosh um, th th there's just so many so many uh, but Pan Pastel is just one brand so you, you know there's no competitors there okay um, Lynn says uh, we had one foot of snow in one day here in the mountains. Oh my gosh. Well, tell you what, 
It was lovely here, not so cold here in summer year, but that's wonderful. But I heard that um, in some areas, like it should be snowing and it's not snowing, which is a shame, isn't it, in wintertime. And then it says, I'm working on a landscape at the moment. I never do landscape. Interesting, I'd like to see that. Um, but it's a challenge and I kind of like it. Uh, I really want to get back to the portraits though, yes. Well, you see, I miss doing this kind of thing. So I really, really love this. So let's see how it pans out. Let's see if I can pull it off. Um, um, oh, yeah. Oh, she usually likes to torment you more. Oh, okay. All right, Abigail. Oh, sorry, Abigail says, "Chrissy, oh yeah, why do you chop it? Oh, it's is it for precision? Yes." And I go, "She usually likes to torment you more." Yes, there you go. Sorry, Deb, I um I missed that. Yes, I don't know. All right, so I'm very pleased that. I'm very pleased with this way. Can you hear? Like, can you hear the brush? Like, you can hear it, can't you? That's how you can tell it's the right brush, to be honest. Um, like, even these ones where it's softer, but it's got that right feel, that, that bristle. It makes a sound. Yes, Lynn, I know. Yep, funny. Uh, okay. Um, Janice says, Chrissy, you're going to have to cut the handle off the brush. Yes, that is a... Um, oh, hang on. Yes, I'm going to have to do that for sure because it's too long. I need it to be cut. Just get a saw and I'll just cut it about there. That's where I'm going to cut that. All right, so there you go. All right. So we can see that this is sort of evolving, can't we? Maybe, I don't know. Hang on, let me just zoom back out. There you go. There she goes. Yeah, she's going to be really weird. She's going to be a bit green as well. So there you go. All right. All right, I think what I might do is I might just, um, let me see. Okay, uh, did you choose a cool color for the paper because you were using warm colors for the skin? Uh, I use the colors that I use. Um, actually, actually, Terry, that's a very, very good question. I use green because uh, the colors that I use are the darker colors because it helps me with my values. But um, it's an interesting way. It's an interesting thought the way you've said that. Do you? Maybe I do this um, subconsciously. I don't know. Do you choose a cool color? Because I use green, I use blue, and I use anthracite. But I also, there's another color which I also use. It's like a, a light uh, light gray um, and there is a tawny color that I use as well uh, which I haven't used for a while but I've got it in in another project which I'm in the middle of but it's interesting because most of those color most of the colors that I use are cooler colors to be honest um, interesting how you've picked that up yeah I have I didn't do it uh, consciously I've got to say um, yeah the only conscious decision I made about it is that for the value, that's the only thing that I've done. Yeah. 
Okay, chocolate is better than tea. Oh, can't even stand. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, are oh, we talking about coffee and tea, are we? Um, okay, loved you. Oh, loved your cup of tea. Oh, yes, Nanette. Nanette's cup of tea, yes. It's in Share Your Art with Exorcist Art. For those who haven't seen it, yes, it is lovely. I love that. Especially all the bubbles. And I love all the highlights that you've done. That's very nice. Very nice. Oh, all right. Well, what I'll do now is I will let... Um, I'll call this a stream. And I will continue to do this project, hopefully... Uh, uh, see how we go. It might even I might even get to do it next week, but see how I go. I've got a lot going on. I've got quite a few projects, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who uh, joined me and uh, kept us all company, and we, you know, had a chat about lots of things, lots of things. So um, just wanted to say, everyone, thank you so much. And I'm going to see you all next week again. Same bat time, same bat channel. Um, so um, bye for now and hope f and, and have a, a lovely week. Have, have a lovely rest of the week, that is. Uh, bye for now.